In fact, a follow-up segment tonight, last week we criticized the Colorado Speaker of the House, Mark Ferrandino, for not allowing the legislature out there to vote on Jessica's law. Jesse Waters confronted Ferrandino. A 41-year-old soccer coach repeatedly raped a 13-year-old girl and only got two years in prison. I, I, specifically, I still do not know the specifics of the cases you're talking about. I'm happy to look at them if you can look at the cases. And if we need to toughen the laws in Colorado, we, we should and we will. Well, you but, do need to toughen but, the laws, with all well, due respect, sir. In describing Mr. Ferrandino to the national audience, I said he was openly gay, which he is, a fact that is noted in nearly every article written about him. Apparently, that offended the Denver Post, which editorialized on Sunday, quote, May not surprise you to learn that a fact-challenged, bigoted line of attack came, from, came courtesy of a Fox News Channel talking head, specifically Bill O'Reilly. O'Reilly's fear-mongering should offend all Coloradans. He was saying gay, but what he wanted his listeners to hear was pervert pedophile, unquote. Joining us now from the Mile High City is the man who wrote that, the editor of the Denver Post editorial page, Curtis Hubbard. So, you've got a nerve calling me a homophobe, number one. You can't back it up. Your editorial is libelous speculation. Is it not? Let me correct you on a couple of things just to, to start. Number one, it's not an editorial. It's my column that appears each week Sunday, so it's my opinion, not the opinion of the editorial board. All right, but you're the editorial you page editor, correct? Correct. <clears throat> okay, go ahead. So, and I didn't call you a homophobe, but what I did do was call into question what Representative Ferrandino's sexuality had to do with his op opposition to Jessica's law, which was the point that you were making. Okay, and, and why did I bring up that he was openly gay? What was the context of that description? You were trying to figure out why he opposed Jessica's law, and my question back to you is, what does his sexuality did you see have the report? to do with his did you opposition? See the, did you see the report that we did? Did you see it on television? Not read the transcript. Did. did you see the report? Okay, I, good. I saw it on television. And, good. and to make my All right, point, so here, after, so I'm going to answer you your, your question. I'm going to answer okay. your question. I described Ferrandino to the audience because the audience doesn't know who the heck he is. And I did it in the context of what his priorities are. His priorities are civil unions, all right, which you guys are uh, going to have pretty soon out there, and legalizing marijuana, which you already have out there. And he's a gay marriage proponent, as you know. So I said, here are Ferrandino's priorities. Here's what he spends his time on, all right? And Jessica's law, but he Bill, doesn't you want. you didn't introduce them as his priorities. And you can go back and look at the tape. I did what absolutely say this did is what the guy is, is promoting. You asked your guest why he opposed <clears throat> Jessica's law. Right. And then you used his sexuality and his support for gay marriage as rationale for why he would oppose Jessica's law. Oh, no, I didn't. My I didn't say anything of the kind. The I described who he was. I described who he was who he says he is, all right, and that's it. I made no correlation yeah. between him being, quote, unquote, openly gay and Jessica's law. And for you to say that true. I go equated... Check, no, you're, you're, look, tape, now you're, fact, now your you're guest, not telling the truth. Your guest is the look, one who I took got, your I can words show. and then said, right. he's protecting somebody. Listen, he's protecting the trial lawyers. That's who he's protecting. See, you are ridiculous. You're a ridiculous person. Uh, and a journalist? This is disgraceful to say I that, that I described him as a person, you Bill, are. because no one here, other than Representative Zabo, no one in law enforcement, no one in the justice system in Colorado was supporting this bill. Yeah, and, and why are they remains, not supporting it? What does Representative Ferrandino's sexuality have to do with passage of Jessica's okay. law? Okay, I already explained that to you. If you can't grasp it, I can't help you. You saying that I described him as openly gay, which is true, equates to me calling him a pervert pedophile is a disgrace. It's a disgrace in any column. It's a smear. You're a smear merchant. That's what you do. You can't back it up. Now, do you support no, Jessica's can, can law? Up. No, you can't. You can't back it up at all. If you could, you would have put There's... it in your vile little column. All you did was make this giant leap. That's your opinion. Fine. And uh, your opinion is your opinion. But you're a smear merchant. That's a smear. That's what you do. Now, do you oppose Jessica's law? Do you oppose it? Bill, the, I don't think the question here is whether or not I no, support no, no. it or No, no, no. That's the question it. because that's what we are doing in Colorado. Do you, no, as the editorial page editor of the Denver Post, about... do you support Jessica's law or not? It's, uh, listen, I don't know enough about you it. You don't to know say enough about it. So you write a column Correct. about our reporting about and you don't law, know Bill. enough about it. I wrote about a column it. about your comments on his sexuality. Yeah, his description. I said, described him the way he describes if himself. If you had simply said Democrats in Colorado oppose 
Jessica's law, here's why. I probably never would have brought it up. Look, but the fact of the matter is, is that you used his sexuality to impugn his character. I didn't and to impugn imply his character to your at all. Viewers I said that what his, his priorities are that, as Speaker of the House. Yeah. Look, I'm going to post the. I'm going to post this on BillOReilly.com. The whole thing, so people can see what a charlatan you are. You can't win the argument. You don't know what you're talking about, Jessica's law. You you run the editorial page in the most powerful paper in the state, and you don't know anything. And all you can do is smear. I know. That's all you no, can do. That's not true. You Bill. don't know As anything about Jessica's earlier, law. This has been Jessica's in play for five was, years here's, out here's there. Here's what I do know about Jessica's law. What? No one. In law enforcement in Colorado, no one supported it in 2007, no one? 2009, or again this year. Okay. In fact, it's only brought up when the Republicans are in the minority uh, in Colorado, not when they had the majority. It's been used against Democrats as a wedge issue politically. Right, but you don't There's know whether you support it or not. All you know I is that no know one, and it believe me, I'll get, I'll get law enforcement from Colorado on here, and I'll make you look foolish on that sure. statement. But you don't even know about it, and you're the editorial director of no. the Denver Post. I do and know you that. Don't what know. I, what well, do I you support know, it or not? Bill. Do you support it or not? You have to ask me which version I'm supporting. Which Am version? I supporting the 2007 version? That no, the mandatory 24, 25 to life for rapists, child rapists. This year's. I think that we have seen in our judicial system that mandatory sentencing oftentimes has unintended consequences. All right, so you don't Colorado support has, it. Colorado has strong sex offender laws. Yeah. I don't see any got, reason to change Colorado's sex offender laws. I got, a dozen, I got laws. a dozen child rapists doing less than five years in your state, Mr. Harvard. Maybe and you ought to do a little research about probation, it. Lifetime probation, which is something unique to lifetime Colorado, probation. which I've done research on. Ooh, lifetime probation, lifetime which probation, which means probation if, for rape. You know, if you had a kid and, a, and somebody raped that kid and they got lifetime probation, you'd probably be out there with a gun, Mr. Hubbard. That's in addition to their prison sentences, Bill. Yeah, and the two or three years that they got, the two or three years that they got, that's good. There the are soccer 2, coach people that raped the kid in and Colorado. Got, you just, all right, I'm just going to say it. You need to look up Delbert Wallace Stewart. You need to find out what that man did, what a Colorado judge gave him, and then you need to come back on this show and tell me you don't need Jessica's law.